I've been in support groups for a long time, since 1988. And they've helped not only with discussing meds, but discussing side effects, knowing that other people are in the same boat as you are and you can, you can live and you can make it work. HIV isolates people a lot because there's so much stigma. And so it's nice to be able to walk into a group and know that everybody there is positive. You don't have to worry about disclosure. You know, it's sort of an, a known when you walk in the room, and it's nice to have that kind of support. And the first group I was in was all gay men. Now it's women, straight women, straight guys, everybody, and it's truly the face of HIV. It's, it's much more, um, I think it helps a whole lot. I think it helps everybody to know that, that HIV affects everyone, not just one single group of people, but, you know, the entire population, and you just, you just don't know. As far as topics, people talk about disclosure a lot. That's a really popular thing to talk about. Um, people that are more recently diagnosed will talk about medications and their fears and, and you know a lot of emotion, sadness about being diagnosed. This group has been here so long and has been a consistent group for many, many years, and that helps the community a lot. Just knowing that it's here and we're you know always willing to help anyone, you know, an old timer like me or a newly diagnosed anybody. One thing that's especially nice is the diversity in diagnosis states. So when somebody new comes in that was just diagnosed a few months ago and then you have somebody in the room or a few people in the room that were diagnosed over 20 years ago, I think that gives the newly diagnosed person a little bit of hope. They're like, oh, they can look at that person and say, well, they're doing okay, you know, you look healthy, maybe y'all can live. In the support group, we talk about everything. Um, it doesn't have to be just about HIV. We talk about all, all parts of our life, and it, it's really interesting how HIV, while it's a huge part of our life, becomes such a small part of who we are and such a small part of our everyday life. 